Hello again. This is uh, lesson, what is this, lesson 2.3, and we're going to discuss using these selection tools. So the selection tool, the direct selection tool, and the group selection tool. So you'll know which one to choose when you need to uh, make that decision. Um, and the uh, practice files are right here, and I will just download those to my desktop. I'll add a link to the description below so you can follow along. So you'll just download those and then we'll go ahead and open them and get started. So I've just opened up Illustrator and I've also downloaded my uh, the template file. We'll simply <laughs> double click that. For some reason it wouldn't double click. All right, so we've got the zip file and the template. We'll double click the template to open that in Illustrator. And here we go. So we are on lesson 2.3 using the selection tools. The first part, actually all of these, are going to be choosing the right tool. So the instruction for this is to remember which tool, or remember what each tool does. So the selection tool is V, which is the default black arrow up here. Uh, we'll select whole objects. The direct selection tool will select parts of objects and the group selection tool will select whole objects that have no fill. It'll also select anything that does have a fill but it's just easier to remember that you can use it if you have an object that doesn't have a fill it's the best one to use. So in this lesson you'll practice deciding which selection tool is best to select the object or part of the object you wish, wish to select and then you move the object or part of the object to the new location. Alright, so the instructions for this, uh, this page are to select each blue object and for that I mean these dark blue ones, not the light blue ones, that's where we're going to move it to. So we'll select each blue object with the selection tool and then move each blue object to the no new location to the right. For example, we have this stack of squares here and obviously the square that's blue is in the back. It's behind these other ones so one thing we don't want to do is drag a selection around it because as you see it will select all three of those squares. So we don't want that. So we'll simply click this square with the selection tool. If perhaps we had the direct selection tool and we clicked on one of the anchor points and tried to move, well, we would end up with something like that. We don't want that either. So again, let's go V for the selection tool and click that uh, object and simply drag it over here to the new location. And again, my tablet is just being a little bit jittery today. And uh, so now we've got it in the right place. Do the same with this blue circle. And again, I have my smart guides on and you can tell because the green lines and indicators saying here's where uh, you know things line up and, and stuff like that and you can see parts by the anchor path center etc and that again if you need that turned on is under the view menu down to smart guides if it's turned on you'll see the check mark if it's not you can use either command U on a Mac or control U on a PC or simply click where it says smart guides and that check mark should turn on Okay, so we will grab this rectangle, put it there, the pentagon, and again, I apologize for all of these. It's, it's bumping out of, out of sync. I've got a 21-inch monitor on top of a tablet, and so it's kind of a big setup for drawing but it's a little more difficult for some precision when I'm all zoomed out like this. This oval shape, and as you can see I can bump it very easily with just a little bit of movement. How about this banana shape? And put that right there, nope, right there, okay. And then this starburst shape. Alrighty, 
So now we have all of the blue objects moved. If you were bored and you wanted to continue on, you could grab each of these other ones and just make a stack of each object. However, that's not what the assignment is, so you can do that if you feel like it. It'll give you more practice. Um, the continue the lesson, we're going to go to the right. So you can again either grab this scroll bar and scroll to the right or click the, excuse me, the next artboard tab right down there. All right, so wait a minute, this looks pretty much the same as we had before. Remember the direct, we're going to use the part two, it's continuation of the last. Um, and we're going to use the direct selection tool this time. And remember that it will select parts of objects or maybe used to select a whole object that has a fill color. It can also be used to select whole object by the center point or by dragging a selection around the object or by toggle selecting each anchor point. So what we're going to do is get the direct selection tool, which is A on your keyboard, and I can do that again. So select each white filled object with the direct selection tool, then move each to the new location to the right. Then we will select each blue object with the direct selection tool and move each to the corresponding new location. So we're going to do the stacking that I just mentioned previously that you could do if you got done with the last part of the assignment. Uh, finally, we will select each unfilled object and move each to the corresponding new location. So starting with the white one, let's click and drag that to the new location. And then we can get the blue one click and drag that to the new location. Whoops, kind of bumped it a little bit. And now here's where it's kind of difficult. The white one is on top, so let's get the group selection tool by holding down the Alt key and click on that edge and you can see we have the blue square now. Let's drop that in place and now it's where it's supposed to be. So here we have an option, there's no fill, so no matter how many times I click inside the object, it will not select. So let's, we can either use the group selection tool and select on the path, and that will get this shape. Or we can click on the center point, and that will also get the shape. So I'm just going to grab the center, and there it is. So our, our order is going to be white, blue, unfilled. And so what you can do is either uh, drag and move those individually, drag all the white ones, drag all the blue ones, and then all the, or you can do it in order just like that. So I'm going to speed up this section so that you don't have to watch me sit here and uh, move all of these in real time. And just a reminder, if you saw what I just did there with the, oops, Hold on, let's grab the white one first. That's what we're supposed to do. Uh, that circle, you can see that I, instead of selecting each object, I, drug, I dragged a selection around it rather than selecting the center point. And again, that's just a preference thing. Whichever you would like to do, go ahead and do that. There's all sorts of different methods for selecting these objects. I still have this blue one. I'm going to move it around. There's no center point here, so this one I'm going to have to either select it by dragging a selection or using the, the group selection tool in order to get that accurate there. All right, now that I'm done with all of these, and again, remember, if you ever feel like you need to have more practice, go ahead and close the file, make sure to not save it, and then reopen the template, and you should have a new document that you can work on any of these steps or any of the parts of the lesson. Okay, 
So we will continue and I'm just going to click the next tab on the uh, artboard. And now we come to part three of choosing the right tool. It looks like the exact same thing. Um, so what we're going to do is use the group selection tool. Um, again, there are two ways to get that. And that is either by holding or by using the direct selection tool and holding down the alt key. So you see that little plus there, it's changed to the group selection. And again, you can tell that by the indicator down at the bottom of the screen or since we don't want to hold down op or Alt or Option the entire time, we will simply go to the Pull Out and get the Group Selection tool. And now it always has that plus sign added to it. So we know that it's always going to use the uh, Group Selection. So first what we're going to do is grab the Unfilled Objects. And you can tell if you look at the stack here, there are some that are blue and some that are white and some that don't have a fill and just kind of look at the object and obviously this one is on top of this one and it has no fill because this one if it were on top would cover up this line so another way to tell is try and click inside the object with the selection tool and if it won't select then you know that you have the unfilled object. So let's do that one first. And then you can do all the other ones, but we're just going to, the instructions on this only say the unfilled objects. In the interest of time and to not bore you all to death, I'm just going to do that. So here is where the unfilled object is on top of the blue object, but below the white object. And move it there. Same with this pentagon. The star is in the middle of the stack as well. And this oval, I'm trying to tell which one it is. That one rather than this one. This one, if you click on it in the fill, it selects. This one, it won't. So let's grab the path. And there it is. Now the banana. And the star. All right, so that is this part of the lesson, easy peasy. Uh, if you want to practice with the other ones, feel free. I'm not gonna stop you. And in fact, I encourage you to practice until you get moving these objects down and selecting them down so you're comfortable with that. All right, then we'll go to the next part of the lesson and I will click this button down here to advance to the next artboard and what happened here <laughs> okay so this is our final uh, step of this lesson and this one is just practice all you need to do is get all of the stars in this page and I by stars I don't mean these starburst looking things only the five point stars uh, that match this shape here so what you'll do is you'll choose the selection tool, the direct selection tool, and the group selection tool, and go through and practice this. And I'm going to speed up this so you don't have to see, but let me just show you first, for example. Um, I'm going to get the selection tool by hitting V, and you see it's changed to the dark arrow selection tool down in the indicator at the bottom, and I can just click a star and drag it up here and then I'll click another one and drag it there and you may not see your star on top because of the order of stacking so I think all the blue ones are in fact behind all of the white ones so you'll just you'll know that you have it in place by the selection that you can see of the object uh, as it sits over here. So use the selection tool a couple of times. Use the direct selection tool and for that remember that when you click on an object that has a fill so maybe use the direct selection tool for the blue ones that's obvious that those are filled um, or anything that's white that you can tell is overlapping another object 
maybe you could use that or you could just simply go straight for the group selection tool with all of them and you're guaranteed to be able to get that selection even if it has no fill like this one here and just move all of the stars up here and just practice doing that until finally you're all done and there are no more stars to do or to move so you've got them all good job for you um, and uh, that will be the end of this lesson so thank you for following along hopefully that will help you get some practice and uh, help you to choose which tool the selection tool the direct selection tool or the group selection tool that you want to use um, the next lesson we will discuss the lasso tool and we're skipping over the magic wand tool for just a brief moment because there are some more settings with that and I want to talk about that uh, in its own specific lesson um, and we'll talk about that with color involved. So thank you and I uh, hope you have a good day and we'll talk to you soon.